hydropower plants along the Snake River. Together, our generators produce about a third of the energy consumed by the citizens of Idaho Falls. Now that number may be seem small, but it's actually significant. One, it helps us to keep our energy independence. And number two, it allows us to keep our costs low. And as a public power utility, that's an important aspect. It's also important for our customers. So today, we're gonna actually see what our hydrogen mechanics do to make sure that they maintain and keep our plants operational. So Pat Staten is gonna give us a walkthrough and show us a little bit about what they do to make sure our plants are running as efficient and as best as possible. I'm Patrick, I've uh, been here for almost three years. So it's been a pretty fun experience being down here working with all these guys and these power plants for the city of Idaho Falls. Every day we do a daily inspection of our plant, uh, make sure that everything's running safe and that uh, we're getting the most power out of the river as we can. So mainly what we're going to check is temperatures and loads of oil and oil levels, uh, leak checks, just everything the overall safety and production of the plant. We have a list here and it basically just helps us write everything down and then that way we could have overall, you know, if there's a temperature changing or a parameter changing, we want to be on top of it and track it before anything changes. So basically, we'll just go down the list and go around the power plant and check it how everything's running. Inspections are done daily at each of the hydropower plants and takes about an hour to finish the entire checklist to ensure everything is working properly and efficiently. We're going to check our megawatt hours. This is why we're here, is this system. Gauges and all that tell us different stuff about how the generator is doing and just the overall health of everything. But basically we're just going to check this first, how it has been in the past, and make sure that the parameters and everything are where we want them to be. So these are all our auxiliary pumps and systems. Uh, so pretty much everything we use here to cool everything uh, is just the river water. Producing electricity makes a lot of heat. So there's certain things we need to cool off in the stator. Um, so that's what these pumps are doing for us. Okay, now we're gonna go down to the heart of the turbine, which is the coolest part of this whole system. So you'll actually see the shaft spinning and all that kind of stuff. And in my opinion, it's the coolest part of the whole building. Turbine at Gem State is a vertical cap link. It alone generates the same amount of power, 22 megawatts, as the three bulb turbines combined. Patrick checks the turbine shaft, the wicket gates, and the hydraulics on the turbine before moving on to the next part of the inspection. Next, complete the same inspection at all the plants, but there are a few differences. GemState is a lot more automated, and well, as you can see, the bulbs require a little more hands-on daily maintenance, like cleaning out moss, grass, and whatever else collects in the strainers. As Patrick says, you tend to get a little dirtier inspecting the bulbs. No matter what plant you're at, mechanics definitely get their steps in as they climb, crawl, and walk throughout the plant to complete their inspection. With the inspection complete, Patrick found nothing out of the normal, which is what they like to see. Uh, you know, most of the time it's us just coming in here, checking to make sure that nothing's gonna break, the safety of the system is all intact, and the system pretty much runs itself. I hope that you've enjoyed this inside look. Not only did you get a peek inside our plants, but you also got to see a really cool aspect of the jobs that our hydromechanics are doing.